<laughs> All right. But that is some funky lemonade. I'm not going to drink it. Much like better it? than Zesty Man Blood. Much better than Zesty Man Blood. But I'm... I'm uh, this has been quite the week. This yeah. has been... Especially for you. You have been trending consistently on Twitter for the past couple it, of days. It has been a strange week. Uh like, I don't know where to start and how to go about it. But I threw the puffy shirt on and, and, and the fangs today because I was feeling like I was going to be there in spirit with Edge, you know. But but I, I think I, you were. I, I think I was. He said it was a tribute, a montage, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but um, I don't know where how to break this crazy week down. So... Do you want to start with maybe Edge's appearance on SmackDown with the blood? Okay, blood? we can. But, all right, so I'm going to tell you... When I left here Thursday, okay, okay. When I left here Thursday, we filmed Thursday. Yeah. Uh, I got a phone call, and we're gonna come back to that phone call later, right? Mm-hmm. So I got a phone call, and it changed my plans around. So like my week was gonna be tied up. So I get on a plane Friday, fly into uh, I go into Philadelphia, then I got like a three and a half hour drive or three hour drive to Scranton. So I'm in the car. Next thing you know, I like hear boop boop, and like I don't know how to turn my Twitter notification off, like. A hundred, like there's all these notifications. So I, I started looking at them, and, and then then I see the whole edge on SmackDown with the bloodbath thing, the music and the black blood, the PG blood, yeah. <laughs> the PG blood, right? So uh, I'm riding with a guy, and he's like, "Oh, that's so cool, blah blah blah." And I'm like, "I'm I'm just quiet." He goes, "Why are you so quiet?" I go, oh, "I don't know." So so <laughs> then so I I get to the hotel, and then um I didn't explain to him why quiet. I will if you follow me, and I'll get to it. So then um. I make a couple of phone calls and, and, and people tell me, no, don't worry about nothing. It's cool. So uh, Saturday comes along again in, in SummerSlam. And then Edge comes out with the, the badass brood jacket, drink from the cup, you know, like tribute that, the, the brood cross on the back, the fire, the flames. And everybody's going, oh, that's so awesome. We wish you were there. And I mean... I was trending on Friday night from the SmackDown trending, right? Mm-hmm. I think in like two categories or three. I don't even know, but it was like <laughs> gang girl, gang girl. And uh, so then Saturday, I think it did too uh, in some kind of way. I'm not sure. But again, people I was with, I was working at this show. They're, you're not you're quiet. I'm being excited. I'm like, oh, no, no, I'm really cool. It's very happy. But but I'm holding in this thing. I'm holding in, holding in something, you know. So then, uh, and, and I'm still holding it. So I get home. And I'm worried Sunday, so I'm supposed to catch a flight today. Right now, I'm supposed to be on a plane. It's Tuesday. Right it's now. Tuesday. Today yes. is Tuesday. I'm supposed to be on a plane to Milwaukee. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. like, so yesterday, as I'm running around tying up my last errands, I get a return phone call saying, "Oh man, we're so sorry. We're to go a different direction because of the WWE uh, media stuff." So, all right. With all that being said, now I'm, I'm going to say that all, that entrance, all, everything Edge did was fucking awesome. It was great, and I loved the reason I wasn't so excited about it is because I knew I was offered another great opportunity, and the timing just sucked. <laughs> the timing sucked. AEW contacted me, and they wanted me to come in and do uh, Dynamite today, uh, tomorrow, Wednesday night, Dynamite, mm-hmm. and they were putting the entrance together. They were going to do the fire. They were getting the pyro stuff. They were putting the music together. They were getting it all together. So at the same time that like. I was training and, and, and really happy for Edge Inside. I was no selling it because I was like super worried going, oh no, I, like, oh no, please don't let this ruin things. Please don't. And then it just kept blowing up and getting bigger and bigger and bigger on uh, on, on the Twitter thing. I'm like, oh man, you know. So then call a couple other people like I know. I said I made a few phone calls. They go, I wouldn't worry about it. You know, your thing is, uh, it, it, it's different. But But then when SummerSlam hit, I knew that was like the final nail in the coffin. And it was so cool because I was like, Wow, I never thought like that the Gangrel, which was my entrance originally, and then it became the Bruce entrance, what would look like in 2021. Like, it looked flipping awesome. <laughs> it was cool. His coat and everything, it came up, came down, and it hit his music. It was just tremendously done. And um, so when I got the phone call that, like, uh, they were going to go a different direction. And it's not their fault, man. It was just timing. And I was so grateful and so happy to be a part of that. And that they even thought about, you know, uh, Tony Khan and everybody. The, I think it was Tony's idea to bring me in and do all that. Um, I believe it was. I, I was so grateful and so happy. But I knew deep down inside, I know how things go. It was just like that timing. So I was thinking like, all right, it's time for me to call Edge, Adam. So 
So uh, yesterday, after they, that happened, I called him and he goes, hey, man, uh, did you see it? Did you see it? I was getting ready to call you. I go, uh, I saw it, man. He goes, man, like, I, I was so happy and honored to pay tribute. And you worked so hard. And the brood was a cool time in my life and everything. He goes, I hope this helps you get more money on some bookings. And you can move some merch, this and that. I go, and I let him go. And he was so happy. I didn't know what to say. And then I go, yeah, it. It kind of cost me some work, too. He goes, what do you mean, buddy? And I go, well, that little other company over there, <laughs> like AEW, and we were getting ready to, like, they were getting ready to do a thing, whether it was a one-off or two-off or whatever it was. Knows, I was yeah. getting ready to, I was going to be able to do my entrance again. I was going to get to go through the fire. Not Edge paying tribute, but me. But I didn't tell him that. I held that in. I held that in. I didn't act like, I didn't sell that. I just, like, and, and uh, he goes, and, and I, he got so cool, he got quiet for, like, like, it felt like an eternity. I was like, hey, you still there? He goes, man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he goes, if you had told me, I go, I didn't know, man. I just got booked. And they just they just were going to do it. He goes, I'm so, so sorry. And I could hear it. And it felt like he was going to cry. And I was like, no, it's okay, man. It, it's good, you know. I'm, I work every weekend. I'm doing things. I, I didn't tell him how stoked and pumped I was that they were going to give me a chance to do my entrance. But I would, but. But uh, he, he he felt, like, so, so bad, you know. And he sent me pictures of Lyric with the jacket on and everything, his daughter. And he's like, man, I feel like, oh, no, 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 it's cool, man. But I went, but it was fucking awesome, man. I love seeing you do that and this and that. But he felt so bad. It was just one of those weird timing things when it rains, it pours. But I understand he told me he had been working on it for, like, two and a half months. He, mm -hmm. he said, you don't know how hard it was to get the bloodbath thing in there because of the PG situation. He wanted the red and the blood. And, and it really came down to, like, if it's not black, it's not happening. They weren't going to do it. So he, he went with the black. But I believe he fought for, like, he said two and a half, almost three months. He, he was trying to put this together. So it wasn't, like, an idea overnight for him. He, he planted seed. It was with Seth Rollins. They were going back seven years, um, right, seven years in the making. Um, so it was a big deal to him, and he wanted to pay homage to, to the brood, me, and, and, and I believe that. I truly, truly believe that because he's such a I, – I don't know how many times I've said on here what an amazing – uh, human being he is and stuff. He even had the brood sneakers. Did you see his brood sneakers? I saw the, the whole thing. <laughs> head, head, head he even had, and, yeah. and, um, but, like, but, yeah, we talked for an hour, and, like, he just kept apologizing. I go, no, it was awesome, man. You don't know. You, it's They contacted me last week. It was awesome. They had a great idea. I'm super grateful, and I hope to do something in the future with them, AEW, you know. But, but at the same time, thank you, and it was super awesome what you did. It's just... World's colliding, man. It's two big companies. Um, and, you know, everybody's, you know, reaching in. But this was personal to you. So how could I ever be mad? And you were paying, like, you know, toward the group, the brood. You are paying homage. You, you were, like, really, and you're sincere about it. And plus, you worked in a storyline. It was thought through. You, you, you went from one pay-per-view and another. And, uh, um, you know, and you, you overcame a lot of odds. So I'm not going to talk about everything in that conversation. It almost didn't even happen, you know. And, um Timing. But but it's timing. So I, I go, I said, it's okay, man. I, I, like you said, I was trending on, on Friday night, and that's cool, man. I'll ride the wave and stuff like that. And um, But he felt so bad. He felt so bad, but but uh, but it really was awesome. It, it was really cool. It was great. Um, I know I'm talking a lot and rambling. Like, it's it, it's like for, my Gango. prom night. I'm prom queen. Oh, I share prom <laughs> queen. <laughs> um, uh yeah, you know, I got to ride the wave surfing that baby. Uh, so, uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, well, I was going to mention that it's important to note that you harbor no resentment towards AEW. Oh, it's, it's, no. it's literally a matter of no. timing. Yeah. Timing is everything. Timing is very important. Yeah. But, no, but it would have been cool to come up to. Because I, I didn't know. Like, you hadn't <laughs> told me. You, you just postponed the thing last week. And then you, you messaged me on Friday and you sent me the the spot like with the bloodbath and I was like oh this is so cool like this is great but I didn't realize yeah but I said I said I hope it really doesn't mess things up yeah <laughs> but I didn't know I was confused uh, uh, because you know like well they never told me not to say anything AEW in any kind of way but just out of common knowledge I wouldn't go blast it out of because of like stuff like this happened I actually wondered whether to mention it here today or not you know and talk about that because and, but it was just what Edge did was so awesome, and it was so cool. And what they were planning was so awesome and so cool. But, I mean, I get how they'll feel like it just peaked here. So what it's going to look like is they just copied 
WWE, right? Mm-hmm. Even though they've come to me, and but Edge has also been planning that for two and a half months, almost three, and they came to me last week. But but their thought was good, everything was good there, and but then they just hit SmackDown pay per view, and then what it generated that. The vibe it generated. Oh, what I was going to say is I was, I was so grateful the fans who just didn't go, oh, that was a great brood entrance with Edge, blah, blah, blah. But there was so much love, uh, I felt. And thank you to all your fans. for. I, I read a lot of them, not all of them, but there was tons. And they would go, it would have been great if Gangrel was there. Or even better if you would have just came up through the fire. You know, thank you for all that. And uh, But thank you, Adam. Thank you, Edge, very much for that. And, and paying homage to the brood. And uh, it was such a great group that only lasted eight, nine months. And... Um, and, and uh, here we are. Like, so I mean, he told me that people were told him, I'm not going to say any names, that they wouldn't remember, but he, I think he proved the point and uh, people remembered. And I want to thank you all for being so supportive. And, and I want to thank AEW, too, for the opportunity that, that, that it almost was. It didn't happen. You know, that would have been awesome. It'd be great. Um, I think it's still going to happen. Yeah, I, don't, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm you know, like when Fonzie that. jumps the shark, it might have. <laughs> but the brood is super cool. Um, there is two members of the brood over there. There's two members of the brood over there. Yeah, you never know. But I'm an older man. But that's why I'm wearing my puffy shirt. I'm we gonna got the it. puffy shirt, guys. So I'm probably going to lose the fangs in a little while because I see you over here, like the spits flying and stuff. Like I, that. I feel good. Yeah. So, yeah. So it was cool. I don't know what you saw and what you thought of it. Uh, I, uh, like, so, I, I didn't mean to, like, cave it, I, like, like, hide it from you or anything. I, I thought I kind of kind of cryptically explained it, like, hey, things change. I got a flight Tuesday. I'll be back Thursday. Yeah, but, like, I, <laughs> I, I didn't put it together because you're always so busy. Yeah. Like, and you're literally traveling, like, five out of seven days. So I just assumed it was, like, another booking, and I didn't put two and two together. You have a lot of Thursdays and weird bookings coming up, yeah. I yeah, so I just Mondays, yeah. assumed, but, like... Uh, but I was so stoked. I was like... Thank you, Tony. I'm going to give this great opportunity to come through the fire again. But it was great living through Edge because they, they, they did it amazingly, too. So that would have been a tough one. That it, it just would have looked kind of funny. So I get it. There, I don't, I'm not I upset or anything. I'm bummed. I'm not upset. I'm, like, bummed, like, heartbroken. Like, And I don't get excited about much But because I didn't think they would ever, ever go back to a ring of fire, let alone Edge did it. And then they were also planning to do it. And it and it would have been back to back. I, I was secretly hoping they still went with it, so like I could be like, well, kind of trending there, and then can they come up in AEW on Wednesday? But it didn't happen. But the thought was there. The thought was good. And do you it, do you think had it just stopped at the bloodbath, it still would have been? Yeah, I think it would have still been all right. But when so SummerSlam the, came, and, and you know, the, the full because they just yeah. did the bloodbath, they weren't going to do the bloodbath. They were going to do the whole fire thing and. Um, they were in Milwaukee. So they were going to do the Ring of Fire and all that. So, But when that happened there, and then on top of a couple other things, I think they ran into, like, permit, you know, whatever it was. But, um, no, it was a bummer. It was a bummer. But I'm I'm, I'm blessed, and, and I'm grateful to feel that I was thought about, like, through Edge and there and that company. And that Vince McMahon let Edge do it because I know he didn't really want – I don't think he really wanted it at first. So let, to let him go and have control of that, him and Seth – both Seth, thank you to Seth too, because Seth was part of that. He had to take the bloodbath, and and uh, Edge said, "Yeah, he was cool with you and how you know everything you did." So it was all cool. So um, thank you to those two for thinking of me and paying such uh, homage to the Brood, the group itself, myself, um, getting to hear my the music I started with, the Ring of Fire I came up through. You know, that's all really cool, and um, never had any resentment or anything. I just my heart sunk because I went, "Oh man." I think you knew. I, when the SmackDown thing, when I go, oh, this may mess it up. But then I talked to a couple people and I go, no, no, no. But then when I seen the Ring of Fire, I went, oh, I'm waiting for the call. And I almost, I almost even changed my. I had a dental appointment, which was a big procedure that I needed a week before I went back on the road. And I almost called because I was so confident that <laughs> that it couldn't happen because it was just too much to to try to like to do that. It would just look too bad on on their end and uh, not intentionally, just. It's a bad situation, bad timing, and certain great circumstances for me, bad circumstances at the same time, you know. Um, so I almost changed it back, knowing, and then sure enough, like like midday, I got the call, like ah, I knew it. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, I kind of knew it. I just kind of knew it. I was just more bummed about the dental appointment and the bum that I couldn't come to the fight because I really now I got to figure out how to reschedule that. So that's the only, when I was bummed about not coming to the fight, I was upset about how to figure out the dental appointment again. That's what's frustrating me now. I'm like. I don't know when because you said my schedule, like you said it. It's oh hectic. yeah, you're it's so tough. busy. <laughs> so they need my fangs. They they need these fangs. They got to like oh, it's a process. I got to go through. And, uh, so I got to be without the fangs for like 
a, a week, and I'm gonna have like uh, anxiety separation issues. I would. <laughs> like they travel me everywhere. I, I don't. I, I know it's kind of weird. Some people have a sit a blankie. Some people carry a little gangrel. Some I'm gonna have to. Uh, a squatula. Yeah, a little squatulas in the house <laughs> over here. Like um, <laughs> I got my fangs, so I had a little anxiety uh, issue separation there. But it is what it is. It was it was awesome to see the tribute. It was awesome to be trending. Thank you, everybody, for that, for caring so much to even make that happen. And uh, thank you to AEW for also wanting to do something. But I get it. I get it. And it, stuff happens. And that's too much of a... That, that is too much of the world's colliding there with the same kind of thing. So, But it was cool, though. They thought about me. So... Obviously, like you already mentioned, the bloodbath was, I think they called it a brood bath, right? A brood Cause, bath. Because it was black, right? Let's say that the scenario happened on AEW. Do you think they would have stu- still stuck with red? Or you think... Oh, yeah, 100%. They, they did the, 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 <laughs> the, the pizza cutter with the blood. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> but, but what was the old timer say? Red means green, you know? <laughs> like, did they say that? Yeah, and back when I broke in, red means green. So if you, bled, ble- if you bled in a match, you'd make more money. Right, so red oh, means that, green. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So it. they're not scared of the color red. You know, they have Jericho. There's so many people. But hell, Cody busted himself open accidentally there. Yeah. But um, no, no, AEW's definitely, they would never shy away from any of that. They kind of run their own ship in that thing. And that's what's cool about them is they can do, they do what they want. Like, yeah. You know, they're not scared of like, uh, no, this is PG. You've got to have black blood. Uh, it's black blood. Well, I feel like it's like still... Like black pudding? <laughs> I feel like it still had the same impact, though. Be, and, like, for, for a new generation. Like you mentioned, it is the PG era. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's kind of like... I was just looking... I was watching on my phone driving in a car, so I was like, is that red, black? What is that? It looks like tar or kind something. Kind of cool, in a sense. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, well, it's not the same. When it's I was not talking to Adam, but... I go, like, the only thing you can come up with that is you went to a darker place than the brood. You, the blood was black. He goes, that's all I had. Because <laughs> like, it wasn't no choice. It was either it was going to happen black or not happen. You know what I mean? Like, so... So black it was. And black it was. And, and, so, and yeah, it was, it was impactful. I, and, I think um, it's still... Yeah, black. you know, it, it, you know, props to Seth. You know... Blood coming from a ceiling like that, the drop, the pressure on your neck and all that, the anticipation of waiting on oh, that yeah. and everything else. That's that's It's not an easy spot. So thank you to him for uh, uh, hanging in there and doing that too and, and being a trooper about that. Um, they did great. I didn't get to see any. You're going to have to, like, as we move on, you're going to have to <laughs> break down the, the shows to me because I had been on the road. And yeah. then, then I thought I was leaving out this morning, and it turns out I'm not leaving out this morning. So I hadn't seen. I was I was wrestling when the pay-per-view was on, and then I was actually sleeping on the plane, so I didn't watch it on the plane. <laughs> so um, so I'm going to. Um, no, it's going to be a little. I, I was at a convention this weekend, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Boom. So now for my, like, ah, go gang growl, go gang growl, and all my about me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look. All right, so my weekend's done. All right, awesome weekend. Thank you, everybody. Tremendous. Both companies. Love you both.